Nakikita nyo, nakikita nyo yung wire na yan. So, yung wire na yan, yan ang likod ng mismong face ng sensor. So, what's up mga ka-groups? Uh, kamusta ba kayo dyan ngayong quarantine? So, may board ka ba ngayong quarantine? Pero, meron kang mic. Kaso, hindi mo alam kung paano i-set up. Well, I, I got you covered. So, tonight, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-set up ng BM800 gamit lang ang isang cheap USB audio sound card. So, itong mic na to na BM800, nabili ko siya sa Shopee uh, for just 925 pesos kasama na yung delivery uh, delivery fee niya. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description para sa Shopee. By the way, salamat Shopee. Pero tinignan ko muna yung review niya. Positive naman. Kaya marami naman gumagamit din ito for beginners. Pwede na siya. For the cheap price. For the quality. Pwede na. Ito ring USB sound card na to. Actually, uh, splitter siya. So, ito yung kanyang ito yung mic and then ito yung earphone niya. So, yung mga buttons, di ko naman ginagamit tong buttons kasi kung pipindutin mo yan, mas, baka masira pa yung USB jack kasi hindi naman siya gaano ka ano, madali siya mabuksan. So, without further ado, tingnan na natin yung setup natin. So, dumating yung parcel. Uh, it comes with two boxes, one for the uh, stand and one for the microphone itself. So, kung napapasin nyo, medyo lukot-lukot na nga and syempre, you guessed it right, JNT Express ang nagpadala nito, pero awa ng Diyos <laughs> perfect pa naman ang quality ng mic natin wala naman siyang dense, wala naman gas gas and whatsoever okay, what we have in the box, syempre yung mismong stand and it comes with a C-clamp na pwede mong i-mount siya sa edge ng table nyo in my case, ito yung table and then Luwagan nyo and then i-clip nyo na siya ganyan. And on the mic box, there we have our condenser mic itself. It says BM800. And then we have this mount here specially made for the microphone itself. And we have XLR to 3.5mm jack na cable. Ito yung 3.5 nya, ito yung XLR nya, female XLR. And of course, we have the uh, pop filter para sa mic. Ito na yung setup natin. Hindi ko muna kinabit yung filter niya para makita nyo malinaw yung mic. So, nakasaksak ang ating XLR to 3.5mm. So, ang gagawin natin susunod, ikabit muna natin yung ating USB. Oops. USB sound card sa USB port ng ating laptop. There. And ikabit natin dun sa mic jack yung 3.5 ng microphone. Beautiful. So, what are we gonna do next is pupunta tayo sa sound settings ng ating laptop. Okay, ang gawin natin you simply search for sound and then enter nyo na yun ang lalabas. So, nandito tayo sa sound settings natin. Ang unang paraan na pwede nyo subukan sa inyong laptop is nakikita nyo mayroon tayong input dito and output. So, 
Ang gagawin nyo lang is input, lalabas dyan yung driver ng microphone, yung pangalan niya. And then select nyo lang microphone USB or the device and then output is gonna be your speakers. Your default, whatever it's gonna be. So in my case, it's speakers will take our audio. Hindi nyo sasama USB audio device in case na gusto nyo i-plug yung headset nyo doon sa mismong sound card. Pero uh, I'm gonna advise na doon na lang kayo sa laptop nyo doon sa default nyo ilagay para talagang klaro yung sound nya. Okay, so that is the first uh, method. Balik natin. Second is pupunta tayo sa manage sound devices. So, kung makikita nyo, dito yung ating output devices and input devices. And makapansin nyo, and pumasok na agad yung USB audio device sa output, which is yung headphone jack niya, and then yung USB audio device microphone jack. So, what are we gonna do here is para hindi magkagulo yung processing ng laptop natin sa input and output. So, we're gonna disable the microphone array of our laptop, which is it, its default. So, stereo mix din naman siya naka-apekto and we're gonna... Uh, disable the output device of our U USB sound card. So in that way, ang titingnan lang ng laptop natin as input is yun sa microphone ng ating USB audio device and then speakers ng laptop natin. Okay guys, yan ang ating second method. So balik natin. Enable. The third method is advanced sound options. Kung talagang hindi nyo pa kaya kung hindi nyo pa kaya mapatunog yung mic so ito yung ultimate last resort natin so let's say FL Studio kahit anong app or kahit anong app tuloy software like that DOWs kahit anong gumagamit siya so ayan box natin yung FL and then punta tayo sa advanced sound options ito click nyo lang siya and then makikita nyo FL Studio 12 And then, dito yung column na output, column for input. And then, ito yung master volume natin. So, wala tayong gagawin dyan sa master volume na yan. So, makikita nyo dito, FL Studio. Ito yung OBS. And, what are you gonna do is simply go on to the output tab and then select speakers. Um, your default speaker of your laptop, which in my case is speakers real tech art audio. And then, for the input, you're gonna select your microphone USB audio device. And that's it. You simply just want to refresh your software or app or DAW. And then, that's gonna be it. So, kung OBS naman ang gagamitin nyo, parehas lang din naman, speakers will take our audio and then microphone USB audio device. Okay, so right now, naka-plug in na sa ating laptop ang aking mic. And then, I'm gonna run this through my DAW, which is FL Studio. And then, I'm gonna show you the raw audio of this mic without any filters, EQs. I'm just gonna crack the volume up. Hello, mic check. BM800 sound check. Check hey. Zzz. Hmm. Okay, mic check. Z z mic check. Check hey, mic test. Mic test. Check hey, BM BM800 BMW, BM800 sound check, BM800 sound check, mic check. Check hey, test. Z. Z. Okay, that's our. Uh, raw audio raw audio recording natin sa PM800 mic natin. So as you can see, responsive naman siya sa frequency. But then kung manonotice nyo, meron pa rin siyang meron pa rin siyang background noise pero hindi naman siya ganun ka katinde. Pwede natin siyang i-cancel, i-cut sa post editing natin. Wala pa to, wala pa akong phantom power dito eh. Pero I'm gonna make a video as soon as possible na dumating na yung aking band lamp link na audio interface. Na may phantom power siya. Hopefully may testing natin siya. Tingnan natin ang diferensya ng walang phantom power sa meron. Guys, bonus clip. So a lot of you 
kung umpisa nyo gagamitin yan, syempre, haharap kayo kung nasaan yung pangalan niya, BM800. Pero if you look closely, kasi dahil mura lang naman to, iba-iba ang yari niya, nakikita nyo, nakikita nyo yung wire na yan. So, yung wire na yan, yan ang likod ng mismong face ng sensor. So, what are you just gonna do is just turn it about face para humarap sa inyo yung mismong mic and that way, makukuha nyo yung clearest sound possible kasi kung nakatalikod yun sa inyo hindi HD yung tunog ba diba? so ayan hanapin nyo lang guys yan yung, yung face na walang kable yan yung harap nun okay that's it mga kagubs para sa akin tutorial video on how to set up your BM800 condenser mic I hope this really helps you lalo na sa mga baguhan na vlogger, recorder or something like that etc and etc I hope na nakatulong itong tutorial video na to kung may tanong man kayo feel free just to comment on the comment section down below and sasagutin ko siya as soon as possible and kung maaari makagawa pa ako ng bagong video if ever na may tanong kayo na video worthy once again thank you mga kagroobs and stay safe and God bless the squad Thank you.